I'll get my ink ready. Remember, tap, tap, tap. Same with the paint. You don't want to rub your ink across your stamp because you're taking ink off the top part of the rubber and you're depositing ink into the little crevices where you don't want it. So tap, tap, tap. These pads are good and juicy because I just re-inked them. When you buy a stamp pad, you'll want to remember to buy the ink re-inker with it because you can do a lot of things with re-inkers. Besides just re-ink your stamp, of course. Now I've got my blank space there. I'm going to set this down onto the stamp. It is inked up, so I don't want to disturb it. Remember, you want your iron to be set on dry, no steam. You can see that inky stamp coming through there, the image is coming through. You do want to have your stamp pad fairly moist, a lot of ink on it to do this process. If it's too dry, you might not get enough of a color transfer. Okay, turn that off. And see? See how pretty that is? You get your color, your transfer, your impression all in one step. I think that's just beautiful.